What's up, YouTube? Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. You guys saw in the previous video this morning, Tim Galati, my friend Mike, and I we went to a reservoir and we is laid the panfish. Nice size bluegill, nice size pumpkin seed, a few small, large mouth bass. That was a wonderful morning. We took some fish home with us, you know, that we're going to eat, right? Harvest selectively. Now it is the afternoon. We are going to explore a few different places uh, and hopefully catch plenty of different species of fish, okay? Micro fishing, multi species fishing. This is what we're going to do today. So stay tuned for today's adventure. It should be good. Fish back there. All right, I gotta follow. See the, see I the see it. Water. I, I see deep. it. He just ripped my worm off. Okay, follow Tim's advice. Oh yeah, there's some fish there, for sure. There's some chubs there or something. Tim knows the deal. Tim's know the deal for micro fishing, man. Yeah. What we got here? What size hooks you have? Size 10. We got here a little creek chub. Yeah, the Semotilus atromaculatus, full of parasites. Oh my God. Ooh, all right, but we gotta take a little photo of this fella doing some micro fishing here at the Ketchup Creek. Wait, what's the name of this place? Ketchumville. Ketchumville Creek, not Ketchup Creek. And uh, we gotta release this little guy. Oh yeah! Oh, dude! It, wait, that's not a creek chub. Yeah. Is it? Uh, that's a fall fish. Fall fish, yeah. Yeah, you got a fall fish. Cool. Cool. Second species of the of the day here for the afternoon. We got Ooh. small Ooh, fall buddy. fish. So we got the Semotilus atromaculatus right here and the Semotilus corporalis. Yeah, the fall fish. Great. Beautiful. Panning out. Oh, great! Yeah, we'll take a photo. No, this one's a creek chub. This one's a goner. Are you a goner? Oh, no, you're not. Okay, he's good to go. Oh, yeah, nice creek chub. Good stuff, <laughs> man. Four parasites, too. Yep. Holy moly, but that's a nice creek chub, man. Nice job. But it's up to you, of course. Yeah, I can't even get out there. Just want to see if there's anything a little bit different here. Okay, creek chub again. Healthy population of creek chub here at the catch Catchumville, catch all view something creek here. Good stuff. We gotta let this little little guy go. Bye bye. There he goes. Happy. All right, let's see what we got here. So it is a spot tail shiner, I think, but uh, but I'm gonna take a photo of it just in case. Yeah, looks like a spot tail shiner. Another species micro fishing for the day using a size 24 hook. Gotta take a photo though and just release this little fella. A little spot tail shiner that has suffered already too much in the hands of the Asian folk. Poor guy is like kind of floating. I don't know if he's gonna survive or not. You know, they're very sensitive, these little shiners here. Are you going to be okay? Are you going to be all right? Swim away then. All right, he gonna be all right. Look at that, look at that. It's traumatized of the Asians now. Sean, what we got here? First fish of the day from the Owego, Owego Creek. Oh man. It's a miniature smallmouth bass that is very, very freaking cute. Check this out. Oh, good stuff. 
All right, let's release our little base here. There it goes. Check it out how beautiful it is. Doesn't quite know or understand what happened to it yet. But uh, we got here beautiful little fish sample. There you go. All right, bye bye. So I just found a species over here that is very, very small. I'm talking about the range of about two inches and I will have to wade in here to catch it. You know, to catch it, I will really have to put right this, right in front of its mouth. I, I don't know what type of fish it is. I have never seen it before. I will attempt to do some ultimate micro fishing size 24 hook with a little split shot. Hopefully we'll catch one so I can show you guys. They are just swimming in between all these rocks here. So let's try, let's do it. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, oh! Ah, it was so close! Oh, yeah! Oh! I got it! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, fellas. This is what I am talking about. Took me only... 25 minutes but I finally got this little guy whatever this is this is a new species for me for sure it's species number 143 or 144 I don't remember but right here check this out whatever this is I'm gonna identify later but new species for me look how small this is look how small this little creature is it took me a long long time to catch this little fella Oh no! <laughs> Where did you go? Right here. Took me forever to catch this little fella micro fishing in this creek right here. You see that? But persistence pays off. Oh yeah. Uh, we gotta identify later. But definitely a new species for me. Two inches long. Go back where you belong, fish. This is some legit uncle. This is legit some Uncle Steve stuff, boys. What's that? This is some legit Uncle Steve, boys. We are, we are Uncle Steving the right. hell out of it. <laughs> fish on. Fish on. Nice. Nice fish. Whatever it is, it is a nice fish. Fish on. Oh yeah, it's a trout. I think it is a trout. No, is that a smallie? If it's a smallie, I can't take it. I want a trout. Is that a smallie or a trout? It's a nice fish for this creek. It's a nice fish. I mean, you know, haven't been ca catching any big smallie. Oh, it's a smallie. Haven't been catching any big smallie, so this, make, this makes up for it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I, really wanted a, <laughs> I really wanted a trout though, I'm not gonna lie. So there we go. Got a nice smallie from the Owego, Owego Creek right here. Check that out. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. On the inline, on the Johnson inline spinner. There you go. Check it out. This is a fatty. This is a beautiful, beautiful fat fish. All right. I don't know how many inches. Maybe in the range of 10, 12. Yeah, about 12 inches. Take photo and release. Nice. Oh man, started raining too. But uh, there we go, we got the smallie. Beautiful small mouth bass. <laughs> Ready to go. It's raining now, but let's catch some more fish. Fish on. Oh yeah. What we got here? Ah, uh, man, it's not a trout. I need some trout here, son. Not this little, not this little, little smallie here that doesn't even, I mean, don't take me wrong, smallmouth bass fishing creeks is amazing, utterly amazing. But you know, we need, uh, we need some trout for tonight's cookout, you know, with Tim Galati. And I'm not getting that, so, I don't know, ah, there we go. Little, little guy, he's ready to go.
Fish on. Not bad. What we got here? It's fighting, it's fighting nicely. Oh, it's a small, it's a small mouth bass. All right. Not bad, little fella, not bad. Not bad, putting up quite the fight here. Small, small bell bass. Right, there we go. Beautiful. All right. Not the biggest fish around for sure, but uh, a nice start here. It's good old small mouth bass. All right, let's release it. Come on. Come on, I know there's some, oh yeah! Oh, hell yeah. Little largemouth bass. We're fishing here the catch a ton bass because this is what happens. You catch a ton right here, you see that? There we go, good stuff. Catch a ton creek, good stuff, man. Little, little largey right here. Small, but another species for today. Watch extreme fully fishing. You heard the guy on the catch a tongue creek right here good stuff let's catch some more fish on what we got here another little largemouth bass yeah two little largemouth bass in a row man yeah there we go beautiful go back where you belong oh fish on what we got here pow baby we got a little oh a very small small mouth bass okay v very very small is small mouth bass here wonderful day of multi-species angling you know good stuff okay okay should there be some fish here around this rock right oh oh bite bite oh fish on what is that oh hell yeah another species for the day what is this oh a rock bass, oh, a rock bass for a creek. holy moly it's a nice rock bass, dude. It's a nice rock bass for a tiny creek. Dude, this is this is the biggest rock bass I've caught so far. This is my new PB. A new PB rock bass, man. Umbloplitis hupastris. That's the scientific name right here. Beautiful. Hey, folks, we got the rock bass right here. Well, since this guy is so beautiful, I'm going to release this one back where it came from, okay? So other people can come here and catch it too. Beautiful fish. Let's see if we can catch anything else here before it gets too dark.